because we've got how can we help you? Squeeze it yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. part of the onboarding, and they're like. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, Maria. Uh, uh, Maria, welcome to Experience Design. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, you know, for uh, um, awarding us the opportunity to come here and to actually, you know, have a chat with you. So yeah, I mean, for a few questions uh, you know, that I want to ask you. Uh, so to get to know, you know, uh, who Maria is, etc. And so, please just tell us about yourself and uh, you know who you are and what do you do at uh, uh, FNB. Alright, hello. Thanks for having me. So I am Maria. Um, I head up the IUX team within FNB, and we're actually part of the digital team. <laughs> and so we are responsible for all the user interfaces. So every app you interact with, every website, we deal with that. Um, so it's a very exciting space, constantly innovating and building up new features and functions for us. And yeah, if you have any feedback, we would like to hear what you like about our app and what you don't. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Uh, that was a lovely intro. And um, so the design space has evolved quite a lot. You know, um, I was fortunate enough you know, to meet you, you know, back in the day before, you know, design <laughs> grew. Right, and uh, yes. now we've got so many disciplines. Right, um, would love to hear from you. Right, where do you think design is at right now, and where do you think it's going? All right, so I think at the moment there's still a lot of learning spaces going. Um, so something like a design system, for example, doesn't exist within a lot of the businesses. It's something that's starting to grow and a big need that is coming. Um, because you've got to have the ability to build quickly and um, so you can you mm -hmm. know build it ship it tweak it yeah, yeah as yeah. quick as possible and most importantly the ability to make changes in bulk so I think back in the day you're probably quite familiar yeah, yeah. you'd have a Photoshop file that you start from scratch every time and now we've actually in the industry to templatize that. Yeah. The other big thing I see that's going to change quite a lot in the design space is more collaboration. And um, so often, back in the day when I started, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my age, you kind of <laughs> were given a brief and you had to go design it and came back and present. That's changing quite significantly and design is moving more to a central point. Natural, uh, natural. I mean, it's, it's small, it's, it's, it's growing, I mean, it's, it's an exciting space, you know, uh, to be in. Because even I, I remember I started in, um, in well, I jumped to design. Um, I remember at UCT, we did like human computer interaction. That was like the closest that thing to it, it yes. you know. And then like later on, it's like, oh, okay, you know, you can become a UX designer. And you pretty much like did everything, you know, like from you know, uh, doing research, you know, uh, doing concepts, you know, doing UI, content writing, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's great. So, um, I want us to talk about, you know, uh, Web3, right? A lot of people are talking about this and um, there are like new changes, right, that are coming to the space like machine learning, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, and uh, blockchain, you know, it's been a while now and Organization of assets, etc. Right, and whenever there are like new changes, you know, um, that uh, technology brings into the space, right? There's always like new opportunities and new ways of doing things, right? New ways of, you know, understanding the problem, translating the problem, and uh, you know, new ways of providing, you know, like better solution. And also, we need to like constantly like revisit what whatever we define as like user experience, right? So I'm just curious to know. What does, that, what does that mean for you, right? And what do you anticipate to be the changes uh, and potential opportunities for designers uh, in the space? So I think there's big opportunity coming mm. that you won't be only designing visually. Yeah. Um, you know, there's obviously speech we need to take into consideration. And how do people speak? How does that interpret? How yeah. does that experience feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's accessibility, obviously, 
Okay. You know, yeah. that has been there for a while, but I think South Africa itself is putting quite a big focus. I know the banking industry is yeah, to make yeah. banking accessible yes. to everyone. So that's also, again, designing for yeah. that user without visuals. Yes, yes, yes. And um, yes. so I do see a fundamental shift with that. And then also, as you start introducing bots, yes, how yes. you teach them that they are easy to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, that users aren't confused that they think they're speaking to a person, but they're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have already seen that kind of take form in the contact center space. Yes. Um, where they've inserted these, and we have to tweak quite often based on the response from the user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the other thing I think um, with all of these initiatives coming is we will have to monitor yeah. our design. So it's no longer a, I've designed this beautiful thing, I put yeah. it live, everyone appreciates and we leave it. You yes. actually need to constantly monitor and check and tweak yeah. as you go along. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can relate, you know, to, uh, to what you say, right? And um, I know I'm going off topic, but a lot of times, I mean, you've, it's easy to find designers who just tend to like, you know, create awesome stuff launch it and forget and hope for the best right yeah. and then someone gonna come like yeah there's something called adoption you know uh, oh we need to check this thing you know how's it performing you know um etc right you know like how are like customers you know uh, you know receiving this new experience etc um but yeah i mean like i think it is it is an exciting space you know to be in and um you know i think that there's a lot of uh opportunities and at the same time, it means that even us as designers, we need to like learn quite a lot, right, to be able to respond to these like new changes, right? So, like on the topic of like innovation and uh, new changes that are coming in, you know, uh, purely based on technology, right, and also like user behavior, you know, and a lot of customers being like now influenced by international brands, right, digital brands like Uber, you know, Airbnb, etc. And it means that even us as designers. We now can't just say our benchmark from an experience perspective is just South Africa or just Africa, right? You know, we need to like be competitive, like right at a, at a global level. I'm quite keen to hear from you because FNB is known to be the like most or one of the most innovative companies, right, in South Africa. And um, you know, when you think about FNB, you know, you think about uh, like an equivalent of like. Amazon, you know, Uber Eats or Tesla, you know. Uh, <laughs> I boss would be happy to hear you. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, because I mean, I've worked in the bank industry myself and like knowing the kind of challenges that we have due to legacy systems, etc. But F&B doesn't give a damn about such like constraints, right? Like you guys, you know, are like killing it like in the industry, right? And um, like, how do you... How, like, how do you get it? Like, you know, like, what is the recipe, you know, or uh, like, I don't know, like, what is it that makes you guys to be the way you are? So I think definitely culture plays a big role yeah, in yeah, this. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a very flat culture you, or flat level, if you want. Yeah, yeah. No, yes, there are people in charge and people in hierarchy, but okay. when you're in that meeting room and designing the solution, everyone's on even ground. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got their chance to voice their opinion mm -hmm. and you know what they say many minds make good solutions right yeah everyone's gonna look at it from a different perspective yeah and it's also good to sit and listen to what people are saying so yes you might have your design hat on and from a design point of view this looks right and feels right yeah, yeah however yeah. you have somebody that's come into the space that doesn't know anything about design and might ask a really valid question. Yeah. So it's good to take that feedback in. So we do have an open culture, if you will, and everyone can give their opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I think we also have moved a little bit beyond banking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, which also yeah, yeah, gives yeah. us a little bit more room to imagine what could the world be if we could enable something simple like renewing your passport. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. knows how painful it is, and we yeah. went okay. Well, if we can take some of that load, yeah, yeah, yeah. How would we do it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting when you're saying we've moved away from bang, and um, even I like 
I, I have to reference FNB as a bank, but I know it's no longer a bank. Like, I don't know what to call it. Like, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, and um, like for me, it's, I think in my head, I've moved the definition of what the company does to like a innovative company that finds opportunities, you know, um, that actually like look at, okay, what are like South Africans or people in general, like, you know, what, what are their problems and what is it that we have? What is the 80% that already exists, you know, in terms of, of the infrastructure, in terms of the capability and, you know, what is it that we can do, um, you know, so that you can leverage the 80% to fill in the 20% gap, right? And, um, yeah. Um, I mean, like it's 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 really like really like um, quite exciting, you know, to hear what you're saying, and even like a lot of companies now, you know, I mean, if I think about like the likes of Capitec, for instance, even like you know, I mean, Time Bank coming into the space, right? And yes, they tend to focus, you know, very much onto a specific like need, right, which is help me to use my money, right? Uh, but then once you expand, you get to see the opportunities right um that are like unlimited and to and to see how you can expand your offering if someone asks you okay cool what what does fnb do everything <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do everything yeah look i think at our core it yeah. is obviously banking and keeping everyone secure yeah yeah making sure that your money is secure and safe yeah yeah, yeah. it's a dangerous world out there yeah 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 but we also i guess because we've got how can we help you we're, help yeah, is yeah. fundamental to us and where we find gaps where yeah. we could at least make your life a little bit easier yeah we would take that opportunity to actually build yeah. out something there yeah. yeah actually yeah this uh, this uh, <laughs> this interview wouldn't be complete uh, without hearing how can we help of you course, <laughs> exactly. yeah i'll just like waiting for that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's part of the onboarding they're like you need to use this at least once yeah. a year <laughs> yeah 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 no cool no thanks for that uh, reminder and uh, <laughs> like i mean i guess when now now that you're mentioning it right and i'm reflecting on how can you help you and i think you guys have like literally you know uh, taking that phrase and owned it, owned it, you <laughs> owned know, it. Yep. yeah, it's like, okay, we don't care, but how can we help you? We don't care to define ourselves like, okay, cool, this is what we do, but like, you know, how can we help you? What are your needs? What, what, are, your, what, what are your problems? And what is it that we can help you with? Um, a lot of the companies, uh, they are now um, defining like new roles, like in the space, yes. like you've got like digital lawyers now, because a lot of times as designers, we don't know much about law you know it's like okay you design for terms of conditions you just need to have like a checkbox somewhere and then try to like make the content a bit user friendly and you know throw in like a couple of words there etc right and a lot of times right we end up like designing journeys that have got a lot of friction because we can't easily maneuver right and translate the, the legal requirements and as a result you know the cameras that now are like hiring like digital lawyers and um some of them you know Beyond uh, that, right, they are looking at accessibility specialists, right? Um, and due to the GDPR now, even the UK, a lot of companies are forced now to have like accessible solutions, accessible, you know, uh, websites, etc. And besides the the, the 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 law enforcement and all of that, right? Um, I'm quite keen to hear from you, right? Um, on your space, what are like the new roles that you're looking at that you feel? Will add value, you know, to um, enhance. I mean, to enhance the experience of FMB customers. All right. So, in the bigger business, there's yeah. definitely a move for CX leads. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, to just give that customer lens to some of the business yeah, discussions yeah. and solutions. Um, so that's obviously a big thing that started to yeah, yeah, yeah emerge in our space. So you've got a lot of CX specialists. The other thing that's quite um, niche or starting to come up is research. Okay. Um, so previously, you know, a designer would do their own research and interview users and so on and so forth. But because of the volume of work and stuff and how much research we actually do need yeah. to add value to those designs, it makes sense to 
yeah. have a dedicated role just for research yeah, and yeah. talking to those users because it is something you need to do continuous. Yes. And you'll often find in a lot of big corporates, although they have UX roles and yeah, they yeah. are supposed to be testing everything with yeah. users, <laughs> yeah. you just don't have the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So from our contract here, what we've done is we've actually go, okay, this needs focus. So we've created a research stream that we're yeah. busy building out yeah, yeah, to yeah. focus on that to give us those insights. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then the other thing which will be quite big is an, um, analysts Yeah, yeah. that analyze your data. Yeah. So Google gives you a lot, a lot of Ooh. data Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it takes time to pick through it and get those questions answered that you're looking yeah. for. Um, you know, like, are people reading this? Are they engaging with it? So yeah. and so forth. Um, so again, I think we're going to have specialist roles in there that are just looking at the data and answering those UX questions yeah, we yeah. are looking for. Yeah. Because the business has a lot of data, doesn't yeah. necessarily interpret correctly into a UX question. So I think building out a business case does help, but mm -hmm. sometimes people aren't willing to listen. So how we approached it was we side hustled it. Yeah, yeah. We would carry on with our day-to-day -day work, but on the side, build out the design system. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, because you've got something built, it's a little bit easier to show the value. Yeah, yeah. It's already yeah. done. We've yeah, done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proof of concept. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And this is the value it's going to add. Yeah. Here's, we've got a designer that's going to take five hours to do it, and now I can do it in one hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's pretty quick and seamless. So I think to start, I would actually start start looking at what can you standardize yeah yeah and um, to actually build that that system okay what rules need to go in that so it's great that you've got a component be yeah. a button but there are some rules that need to be attached to that yeah 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 and um, because certain buttons can't be used in conjunction with certain things depending on what it is you're building out obviously yeah 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 and there's obviously a pattern you want to build yeah, out yeah. and flow so you will need to mm. um build that framework, yeah, yeah, build yeah. out the rules around it, and then it becomes a little bit easier to show, Value. okay, yeah. here is a designer, they've got this design system, look how quickly they can build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to tell us, you know, about um, a week in, um, in, in the life of a designer at, uh, at F&B, you know, how's it like? Absolute chaos, <laughs> mm -hmm. but lots of fun. Yeah. So yeah. I think, um, look, we have a stand up every morning to yeah. just touch base, make sure everyone is comfortable with what they need to execute. Yeah. And raise any questions or issues they might have. Yeah. yeah. That is stopping them from yeah. continuing with that project. Then the other thing, so we've got quite a hectic schedule if you want yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um i actually have two ops managers that just yeah. manage people's schedules what's coming in and yeah. what's going out yeah because yeah. it is that busy um so you would actually look at your schedule for the week and go okay well this is what i need to finish by when yeah and then yeah. it's up to you to plan that time okay, okay. um we're not saying by one o'clock i need yeah. wireframes and by two o'clock yeah, you sure, must sure. have draft yeah Every designer is different. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. got a different process. Yeah. So we've booked out the time, you utilize it how you see fit. Yeah. And one thing we do encourage is don't work in isolation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start where your head is at and then maybe just at the moment it's yeah, a phone, yeah, phone, yeah. phone a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and yeah. just go have a look at this. Sure. Does it make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did you tweak? And then there's obviously a lot of reviews that we go through. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm quite curious to hear like what are, what are those like recurring like meetings that you guys have. All right. So the reviews happens every Tuesday and Thursday for us. Okay. Um, and depending on when your project is due, you would schedule your slot. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Um, everyone here is very accountable for themselves. We don't micromanage. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Well, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. how I also yeah. feel. Um, Micromanagement will hamper the design process. Yes, yes, yes. And then in those reviews, people would start with, this is the brief I got. Yeah. So everyone understands. They would go through their design thinking process. Yeah. Any research they've done 
for that. Yeah. And um, bearing in mind, not every project follows this because some yeah. of them are really little. Yeah. yeah so like yeah. resize an image, we wouldn't bother. Yeah, with yeah, that yeah, process, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. You get. Um, and then they would start taking you through what they've done. Yeah. And how they got to this. Okay. Um, solution. So a lot of the time people are quiet while the person's presenting yeah. and we would wait till the end to throw in questions. Sure, sure, purely sure. because um, we've got to let them unpack their process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because a lot of your questions might have already been answered. Yes. Um, so we let them get through that and then people start with their questions. And it could be a question like, I see you've used this type of image, have you considered this? Or why did you go with this type of journey? when your user base is this, and they might have very valid reasons for it. So sure. again, collaboration, yeah. and it's important yeah. for yeah. us to hear each other out. Sure, 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 sure. Um, I'm just curious to hear, right, like mm -hmm. um, the fun side, like, you the know, fun side, yeah, yes. right, like, um, we work hard, but play hard, <laughs> right. Uh, let's talk about like the fun side of being a designer at F&B. All right. So some of the fun things we do um, on every Friday. Sure, sure. We have, we don't do our normal stand up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that, okay, yeah. That's, yeah it's, that's, it's fun Friday. That is fun on its own, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or maybe we, we need to like say, hey, we're still here. Yeah, sure. Think these things would be more sensitive. So on yeah. that Friday, what we do is because the team was remote at that stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Um, and you know, you don't get mm. to understand people's body language or drop in and see what they're doing because yeah. you're not next to each other. Yeah. And we've had quite a few new starters. What we started was a question Friday. Yeah, question Friday. Question Friday. Okay, so okay, okay. Anyone in the team can ask a question. It could be as simple as what's your favorite chocolate? Yeah, yeah. What's made you happy this week? What made you sad? Whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so somebody would ask the question and everyone in the team would give their answer. Okay, okay. And the so reason for that do you like, is... Do you like select one person to ask a question and then everyone else... Okay, okay, responds to it. Okay. Not necessarily select, it's more voluntary. So okay, any, whoever feels... Whoever okay. has a question for this week. Sure, sure, go sure. Go for it. And it really is to just start to get to know everybody. Okay, yeah. So those that have been working together quite a while, we... Yeah. You know, we've had that office experience. I know Yeah. what makes you happy what doesn't yeah, yeah but the new guys not so much so it is a way of getting to know each other i mean yeah the questions are really things you would ask during lunch yes the lunch yes. break we have at the office which we don't have anymore yeah um so that really is one of the things we do and it's often mm. a lot of fun um the past two years we've had to do virtual team builds okay but everyone makes an effort they got dressed up well, that's, I mean, actually, I'd love to, I'd love to, I don't know if, if you guys can give us the permission, like, I'd love to see, right, like, I mean, the fun element and share it with everyone, right? And um, I think as much as we can talk about, you know, the company and like, hey, we're F&B design team, we're looking for so-and-so, right? Um, I think there are certain, you know, activities that are internally that can be externalized, you know, to attract people to expose the culture, to, to expose the environment. Um, but anyways, like, I'll, I'll be keen to see, you know. <laughs> I was actually yeah. see if we've got anything, but sure. yeah, so we dressed up, we yeah. had a little bit of competition, and yeah. lots of fun. Um, yeah. And then we've done crazy things like, we were actually busy with TikTok. Okay, nice. <laughs> TikTok videos at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it's not just with my team, it actually is a bigger yeah, yeah. digital, thing we've um, our CEO has challenged us so we're all okay building our TikTok videos which is pretty fun okay like what what are you guys doing on TikTok I'm just there curious. is no theme you can do whatever you want okay. it really is just a creative outlet <laughs> okay 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 um, and then previously we have done lip sync videos yeah so one okay. of the other business units in the bank <laughs> challenged us and we we're like okay we're always up for a challenge yeah sure 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 <laughs> so we've done fun things like that and then yeah. every now and then just for fun we do a design challenge so we would book out a day and yeah. go okay well we want to make uh, an app that does xyz yeah yeah, yeah go yeah. give it yeah take the day and then we all come back and present okay okay um and then a lot so of i mean do you do that as an individual and 
present amongst each other when, or like how, how does so it work? So we would pair up a okay, UX okay, okay. designer, a copywriter. And oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. so you've got like a mini squad. Yeah, mini squad. squad. Okay. And they come up with their thing yeah. and do it. And I mean, I've, we've done random things like build a weather app. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, you know, getting out of the rat of the day to day. Yes, so yes, we go yes. build something random. Just, yeah, yeah. Just I mean, for like, fun. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's quite cool. I'd be quite keen to also like hear from other designers out there, right? Um, yeah, because there's, I think there's a, a lot of opportunities, right? Like for us to make the working environment to be fun, right? Definitely. Welcoming and, you know, to uh, create like a safe space for people to be, I mean, to come, you know, and present themselves as they, as they are. I know a lot of things have changed over time, right? And I'm quite keen to hear from you, right? Um, as a hiring manager, right? Head of, uh, you know, um, UX at F&B. What are the, like the key three things that you look for, right, um, when you are hiring someone to join your team? Right. So obviously, good design mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't hurt. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, um, and that really is just not necessarily always in a form of a portfolio. It could be how yeah. they've laid out their CV, how simple it is, so on and so forth. Um, how their design thinking is. Yeah. So we actually do give every body we interview an assessment to do yeah yeah uh, because portfolio obviously sometimes is also collaboration with other people's work and we want to know what your thinking is like. yeah so yeah yeah. Hints. yeah yeah sure 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 we sure. check that mm -hmm. see what where's your head at and then I think mostly I can do attitude yeah um, you know somebody who's enthusiastic and like up for a challenge yeah. some design jobs are boring yeah like resizing a hundred icons it is what it is, but yeah, it's got to yeah, be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some jobs are super fun where it's like, well, we just want to go and build something completely new. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. You have creative license. Sure, sure. So I think those are the three things I would look for. Okay, 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 cool. They are like, you know, youngsters that are out of varsity, you know, they are interns, you know, that are being hired, you know, by companies and junior designers that are out there. And they wish that one day they could be a head of, you know, uh, design for company like F and B, right? So, I'd be quite keen to hear from you, right? Like, what are what are what are what are the lessons that you've learned, right? And what did it take for you to be where you are today? And what, you know, um, inspirational message that you could share uh, to them? All right, I think probably one of the biggest learnings I was is not everybody is ready for change yeah yeah and um, so often you know you as a designer would come with this massive beautiful concept and everyone's just like oh, that's so much change not yeah sure so i think definitely